Hello everybody and welcome to another song reaction. As suggested by Saint Bodham, today we have Here I Dreamed I Was an Architect by the Decemberists. And that name caught my attention because I knew I had seen it somewhere. So first thing I did was checking out YouTube, but none of their songs seemed familiar to me. So I checked out my playlist and I had a song by them. It's called Sleepless and it's from a compilation album. So I kind of know this band, but I never listened to anything else than that song. So today we're listening a little further. Of course, this is the part where I stop talking and start listening. Let's go for it. I may not know properly the sound of this band, but if they sound as dreamy as this, yeah, I'm digging it. Those lyrics. Yes, they are very dreamy indeed. Oh my god, I'm reading them right here. And Jesus, I don't want to miss a thing, but. The image they are painting is so ethereal. Oh god. So ethereal and so natural. So dreamy of curse. It's so metaphoric, it's very poetic. Curious enough how that motif in the guitar sounds like waking up in a daze. Yes, everything else is dreamy, but that motif. Okay, up to this point, I'm not sure if this is actually a dream or if he's awake and just daydreaming. I'd go for that second option because it sounds like somebody's walking around just looking everything around him and, and daydreaming. I will be buried with my man. Countess in my tender and husband we're not around. Oh wow. If you my soil to make your friend, why you furrow my Okay, some parts of this lyric seem to have some Spanish and Latin literature influences. The things they are depicting are very common in those kinds of literature from the past century. Nowadays not so much, but then again, Decemberists, that's something from the 1800s, maybe 1900s. What I'm trying to say is that there is something very baroque about this band. And their identity, their sound, and their lyrics. Yes, even on those arrangements, I'm not sure if that's a glockenspiel, I don't think so, but 
even on those arrangements, there is something that screams horror backly. Oh yes. The sound of this band may be very simple for some people, very acoustic, very folkish, but it's not just that. It's layer after layer of instruments, there's a lot of overdubs, and all of that contributes to the overall dizziness and daydreaming feeling of the song. But that is just for the instrumental. We do have to talk a little more about those lyrics. They are baroque, yes, but they are also very existentialist. It sounds like the life of a soldier who's just absolutely tired of war and he deserts the army and he goes in a trip around the world and he does everything that a man is supposed to do but still a little empty at the end. I mean, yeah, you can do everything you want to do and still be completely dissatisfied with your life because sometimes everything is just not enough. Or maybe it's the complete opposite. Hence the line, here I dreamt I was an architect when he was just a builder. He dreamt with being the driving force for which things happen, but he was just a man at the end. When we combine that existentialism of the lyrics with the dizziness and etherealness of the music, if that's even a word, then we got something that's beautifully sad and that helps us reflect not only on the story, on the song itself, but maybe on our own life too. So thank you Saint for this week's recommendation. If you got any of your own, you can always leave it down below. But please remember, this section is for songs, album suggestions, go in the album reactions. Also, if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. Or if you'd like to watch more, you got this playlist where you'll find all of my other song reactions. And I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tony Whitburn and I'll see you in the next one.